Welcome to this video on summations. So in this video we have our problem. It asks what is the closed form of the following summation and we have that summation here in green. Okay and then over to the right in red I have two summations, uh, two summation formulas that I plan on using for solving this problem. Alright so let's go ahead and get started by first rewriting the original problem here in green. Alright, so we have the summation from x equals 0 to n of the summation from y equals x to x of 5y. Alright, so this is equivalent to, I'm just going to pull out the constant here, so it's equivalent to 5 times the summation, I'm going to put a little dot for times here, so 5 times the summation from x equals 0 to n of the summation from y equals x to x of y. Alright, and so next we're going to try to solve this inner summation by using the summations or the summation formulas here to the right. So I'm going to use specifically this summation here. Okay? So all we have to do is we have to remember that um, the i is equivalent to the y. So um, let me just redo this again. And I'm going to put some columns here. So these are going to be values from the summation formula number 2. And then over here, I'm going to put um, the values from the, the original equation. So I'm going to put equation. All right. Okay, so we can see that everything matches up. So we see that y right there is equivalent to the i in our summation. Okay. And that also goes for this y here and the i here. All right. So next we have x from the equation. So the x value is right there and there. So we see that it matches with the m value here and the n value there. All right. So x is m and x is n from the summation. All right. So now we can use this to rewrite our summation into that nice form from the summation formula number two. All right. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna just leave this chart and let's rewrite the summation here. So I'm gonna just put uh, this little arrow. So this is equal to five times the summation from x equals zero to n of let's see we have x times x plus one divided by two minus x times x minus 1 divided by 2. Okay, and you know, obviously where did I get that from? Where did I get this right here from? I got it from our formula right here. Okay, I just plugged in the values. Alright, so let's continue and let's solve this. Alright, so this is equivalent to 5 times the summation from x equals 0 to n of x squared plus x minus x squared minus x and all of that divided by 2. All right, and we can simplify this even more. So we get 5 times the summation from x equals 0 to n of x squared plus x minus x squared plus x 
divided by 2. And we can simplify this even more. So I get 5 times the summation from x equals 0 to... Um, and I, I put n. Yes, it is n. Okay. So to n. And then we get 2x divided by 2. And now I'm just going to simplify this a little bit more. 5 times the summation from x equals 0 to n of x. All right? So that's pretty good, but we can go even further. So I'm going to make some room now over here. And there we go. Just going to erase this a little bit. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use this first summation formula. So summation formula number one to put this in a closed form. Okay, so very similar to what we did before. I guess I can write the chart again for you all. Um, let's just put it right here. Okay, and I'm going to put formula number one and equation. All right. So this time the x value from the equation is i. And the n from our equation is n in the formula. And I think that's all that we need. So let's go ahead and continue. So I'm going to put a little line here. All right, and now I'm going to put a little arrow. So now we get, uh, we, we're right down here. So now we get 5 times n times n plus 1 divided by 2, right? because we get this from here, all right? Okay, so now this is equal to, well, that's pretty much it, really. We can simplify it a little bit more, I guess. Um, this is 5n squared. Uh, plus 5n divided by 2. Okay, and that, that is our answer. Oh, right here. All right, so thank you. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please leave a few likes. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos on summations and computer science topics. And I really hope that I explained this um, to an understanding level for you all so that you all could grasp the subject and what I did. Uh, if not, please just leave some questions in the comment section and I will try my best to answer some of them. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.